you know, city girls up like a mom. <laughs> Did you do uh, that just to fuck with Diddy? No, no, no. That was a uh, that was ahead of uh, the the thing with Daphne or whatever like that. I don't, but y'all, man, I ain't kissed in the mouth in ten years, man. Somebody got to kiss him. At this point, this is my cue to stay out these folks' business. This is Daphne. She is the baby mother of Fifty Cent. 50 Cent has thrown a few insults your way recently. Called you a fruit boot biscuit, among other things. Have you talked to him about this? And why do you think he's throwing insults at you? He loves me. He loves you? He loves me. Y'all, there's a major detail we missed in Lil Rod's lawsuit against Diddy that shows how Diddy tried to take revenge on 50 Cent for exposing him by recruiting 50's baby mama Daphne Joy into those F.O. sessions. So you know how 50 Cent has had his petty foot on Diddy's neck for years now, never missing out on an opportunity to clown him in front of the world. Now, some people, like those who blindly worship any billionaire, they always claimed 50 was just jealous of Diddy's money and success. Well, turns out 50 was right all along, and he's been trying to sound the alarm about Diddy's depraved activities this whole time. And in revenge, Diddy did something truly diabolical, allegedly paying 50's ex, Daphne Joy, to take part in his freak-offs. This all came to light after producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed his explosive lawsuit against Diddy last month, going scorched earth and name-dropping like one-third of the entertainment industry. And among the people he named was Daphne Joy, who Lil Rod claims was paid a monthly fee to be Diddy's S worker. Y'all, this is beyond messy, so let's break it down. You know, like, it, it, I, it ain't one of those situations where, you know, they, they had us in it, like, they'll still go back to the baby mother and hang out with the baby mother and stuff like that. Nah, that, that's, and, and that was not like a relationship then anyway. It was more like, I know. Now let me first give you some context on 50 Cent's long-standing feud with Diddy because this has been going on for almost two decades. So apparently this all started in the early 2000s during that very messy feud between 50's G-Unit camp and former record executive and convinced criminal James Rosmond, better known as Jimmy Henchman. The feud got pretty intense and according to Tony Yayo, Jimmy even orchestrated a plot on 50 and tried to take him out while 50 Cent was filming the music video for his 2007 single, I'll Still Kill, with Akon. But someone was looking over 50 that day because Yayo said the g damned, and Henchman and his crew backed out on the hit. And, uh, Henchman and them were supposed to come through, and I guess they g damned, but we had God on that side, and they backed out on the hit, but we had straps too, and that really was really it. Now fast forward to 2014 and Jimmy Henchman was sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years for ordering the of G-Unit associate Lowell Fletcher. As for Diddy's alleged involvement in all this, well, he and Henchman go way back and word on the street is that they orchestrated that first of Tupac in 1994 at Quad Recording Studios. Pac even rapped about it on Against All Odds, where he says Puffy getting bribed like a bee to hide the fact that he did some ish he shouldn't have did. Basically, it was rumored that Jimmy Henchman was extorting Diddy. So of course, Diddy sided with Henchman when he was beefing with G-Unit. And from then on, 50 never really stopped throwing shots at Diddy. 50 and other G-Unit members also hinted more than once that Diddy may have been involved in the both Tupac and Biggie. On the track Hip Hop from his mixtape Hip Hop is Dead, G Unit Radio Part 22, 50 raps, Who Shot Biggie Smalls? We don't get them, they gon' kill us all. Man, Puffy know who hit that man. Man, he soft. He scared them boys from the west side would break him off. Dump on it. So he run to Harlem, shake him off. And then later on in the track, 50 adds, I guess this means I won't be invited to the white parties in the Hamptons. Now, speaking of Diddy's parties, he apparently tried to lure 50 Cent to hang out with him. And 50 talked about this many times over the years, claiming that Diddy offered to take him shopping. The pop was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is tough. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it. It's like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping? Or I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I got the from him. Cause I was like, this, this nigga, like, the fuck with This nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> and it goes off. But well, this is a little 
fruit pop. Puppies are fruit pop. <laughs> Now, this story has turned into a meme and people often use it to make gay jokes about Diddy. But there's actually a more sinister side to this. See, there's now a growing speculation that Diddy has been running some sort of Jeffrey Epstein-like blackmail ring in the hip hop industry. And allegedly, when Diddy offered to take 50 shopping, he wasn't doing it because he was attracted to him or anything like that. Instead, rumor has it that he tried to get 50 to come to one of his parties so he could secretly film him with women who were not of age and then use those recordings to blackmail him. Word on the street is that Diddy has a ton of tapes with rappers, Hollywood celebs, CEOs, and even politicians in compromising positions. And that's why for years, no one has dared to say anything negative about Diddy. Lil Rod actually claimed in his lawsuit that Diddy had cameras hidden all over his mansions and even on his yacht and private jet. The lawsuit states, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones did discovered that Mr. Combs has hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs has recordings of defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Haptamarium, as well as other celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. Upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent, as in the case with the homosexual S-tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. Damn. Anyway, since Diddy couldn't lure 50 Cent to one of his house parties, he decided to go after women 50 dates, eventually zeroing in on the mother of 50's son sire, Daphne Joy. 50 and Daphne dated briefly between 2011 and 2012, and on September 1st, 2012, Daphne gave birth to sire. Now, 50 always claimed he and Daphne were not serious. In fact, he said it was more of an arrangement than a relationship. But 50 still felt some type of way when Daphne sparked romance rumors with none other than Diddy. Diddy and Daphne were first linked in early 2021 when Diddy was still officially dating Young Miami. After photos surfaced of Daphne strolling with Diddy outside his Miami mansion, 50 hopped on IG to say, oh sh that's your mommy over there with Puffy. LOL. Remember what I told you the other day? These be crazy. SMH. But Daphne then clapped back at 50 and replied to his comment saying, please stop doing this to me. I never bother you and I am an outstanding mother to our son. Can we please just focus on that? Please. But see, it was hard to not focus on Daphne's relationship with Diddy because she was the one constantly flaunting it on social media. Like sharing videos from the VIP section at his shows and posting sneaky pics of Diddy at his house. For Diddy's 53rd birthday on November 5th, 2022, Daphne posted this photo of her chilling with Diddy at his mansion and wrote, happy birthday to my favorite person. Now I know you're thinking, how can Diddy be anyone's favorite person? <laughs> well, it turns out Diddy was paying Daphne to say stuff like this. According to Lil Rod's lawsuit against Diddy, the reason Daphne was hanging out with Diddy back when he was officially dating Carisha is because both of them were being paid to be Diddy's freak off partners. The lawsuit states that Diddy's accountant, Robin Greenhill, would ensure the wiring, fund transfer, or cash payments to S workers while Frankie Santella, Moy Vaughn, Brendan Paul, and Christina Karam would also be responsible for ensuring payment to S workers in cash. Lil Rod then goes on to say that Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Combs' S workers and received payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendant's ongoing criminal operation. Later on in the lawsuit, Lil Rod refers to Young Miami, Daphne Joy, Stevie J, and Jade as freak off parts participants. Now, I don't think this is the main reason 50 has been trolling Diddy because 50 started that long before Daphne Joy came into the picture. Plus, 50 seemed more offended by Diddy asking to take him shopping than seeing Daphne hanging out with Diddy. Either way, the whole thing is disgusting and we need to focus on real victims, not women like Young Miami and Daphne who willingly participated in Diddy's depravities for a bag. But if they did something illegal and covered up Diddy's crimes, well, then I hope they get what's coming to them. One fan said, those women are not going to say they're S workers. He's going to say that they were his girlfriends and he gave them a monthly allowance as his mistresses. Hopefully they reported the monetary gifts to IRS. If they didn't, that will be used to force them to testify. And another one wrote, 50 probably doesn't want his 13 year old son around that mess, knowing all the other stories about young boys. Allowing Diddy to have something to blackmail you for, as Daphne has been doing, is not being a protective mother. He probably owns her and has too much access 
slash influence to 50's son for comfort. When they go down, 50 could get full custody. And since she hasn't been claiming his income, he was probably overpaying child support too. But let me know how you feel about Daphne being one of Diddy's workers. And what do you think is the main reason 50 is going so hard on Diddy? Drop your comments below and don't miss out on this next video.